Hello and welcome to part three of the truck tutorial. As you can see, we have here a cube. So that's pretty much what I'm going to start with. And um, I'm going to start, what we're going to do in this section of the tutorial is we're going to block in the model. Basically, give ourselves a rough uh, outline of what this truck is going to be. So I'm going to start with the side view. And like I say, I like to work on the left side like this first. If you like this right side, then you could do that. But I'm just going to go into the full, full view here. And what we want to do is we want to basically kind of get rid of all the areas that we don't need and just kind of sort of like think of it as chipping away at ice block or something. It's very rough. It's going to give us the basic shape of the model. So, in order to do that, I'm going to go into tab into edit mode and actually this bottom part I'm just going to be box select and I'm going to pull it up to here because really there's nothing else beyond that. Don't even worry about the wheels right now because that we're going to add those in separately later anyway. We're just thinking about the main body right now. And um, the top we have to kind of keep up here, but actually we don't need the tailpipe or whatever that is, the exhaust pipes. So I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm just going to bring it down to where this air scowl is. Okay. And we already have our images centered, so we don't have to worry about messing up our, you know, our shape here. Okay, so I'm going to look first at the kind of the vertical, if you will, um, thinking about what areas need to be cut away. So I'm going to do a control R for a loop cut and select it and just move it along. And I just want to move it yeah, probably right at the end of that bumper right there. Because what I'm looking at is this area is going to go away and I need some geometry there to get rid of it. I'm going to control our another loop cut. Come over here, kind of like right there. And looking here, I have a change there. So another control R. Just come over here to right there. Now over here on the tires, there's not really any geometry there that we have to worry about right now. So that's good. Uh, we got the end here that's taken care of. So now we can kind of look at the horizontal a little bit. So we know right off, I'm, I'm going to leave this, this bumper, this middle of this bumper here, or this opening, whatever. I'm just going to leave it like that as is right now. Like I say, this is going to be a very rough cut. So let's look first at kind of moving upwards. We're going to look at the bottom of the chassis here, the back part of it. We know it's, it's going to be that low not going to worry too much about the interior right here, but we can kind of consider that the same, at least at this point. So I'm going to do a control R, but I'm going to come over here so it's going horizontally. Click and just move it down to kind of where the bottom of that chassis is going to be, like right in there. Okay, so then we're going to look at probably the top of this. So another loop cut, control R. Move it down. I think probably I'm going to leave it at the top of this area. And it's nice that it lines up with the top of this wheel well because that's another place where we needed it. Okay, the next part that we can look at is actually this part right here we know sticks out a little bit this fender so I'm going to do a control R and bring that down right there and one part I forgot over here is I need to get of course this air scowl actually I forgot a lot of things <laughs> so let me look at because I really wasn't looking at the top of the truck too much so actually we need this right here but this line might take care of that Uh, we do definitely need that. So I'm going to do a control R. Just kind of come over here and that'll be like the 
end of the cab there. Definitely need one right here. Okay, so we can go back to our horizontal. Uh, we know that we need one on the top of the hood. So, control R. It's going to bring that down and kind of just guesstimate kind of in the middle there. And we're going to need one on the top of the truck here. So, bring that down. Okay, and for the top of this, we can actually use some of the existing ge geometry here, I believe. I mean, this is, I'm going to end up making this air scale a separate piece, but anyway. So, now we can go into face mode and start taking away the pieces that aren't going to exist, basically. So I'm just going to B select this area here. I'm making sure that I'm going all the way through. And X those faces out. Okay. And same thing with here. Actually I have a I have a bottom of the cube which I don't need really, but that's okay. X those faces out and actually this we don't need any of this right here so you can select all that X those out okay and just make sure I did that right okay so you can B select all of this X those out and looking over here we know that we don't need any of this even though it's coming close to the windshield that's okay again it's a very rough uh, blocking out I guess you call it uh, don't need any of this delete all that and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this here actually I think I have no I don't okay so X out of that and we can use this, we need this geometry here to make this scowl, so that's okay. Just seeing if there's anything else that I've missed here, but I think we got it. So now if you look at it, and I go into uh, non-wireframe mode, and tab out of it, you can see we have actually a very rough basic outline of the truck, and what I, should, what I didn't want to do is delete these top faces. I don't know how I did that, but that's okay. I'm just going to go into edge mode and just select these edges. F to fill that face. F to fill that face. And go ahead and fill this area too. Okay, so there's the truck. Um, very, very basic, as you can see. But this gives us the, our basic building block to start working on the details of this truck. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial.